There is much activity at Kununurra these days as a result of the tentative proposal for the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh to visit Kununurra on March 17 next. All air traffic, which is considerable these days, has been diverted to Ivanhoe for approximately six weeks to enable the complete rebuilding and levelling of the Kununurra Strip and main roads groups under the supervision of foreman Ted Shepherd are working to capacity to upgrade the strip to the full requirements of the Department of Civil Aviation. All plant required to fully seal the reconstruction has been assembled in readiness to proceed with this work approved. They made a thorough inspection of the Kununurra strip with a view to positioning navigation aids and arranging dispersal of the variety of aircraft which would use the strip during the visit. Mr Graham stated that the present tour itinerary definitely included Kununurra. It is anticipated that the main aircraft involved in the visit in order of arrival will be DCA Friendship for Ground Air Control, Air Force Dakota with maintenance crew, Continental Royal Party, Continental Complete Reserve Aircraft, Hercules carrying pressmen and others. It is expected that some 150 pressmen from all over the world will accompany the touring party. The DCA aircraft simulated the Royal Continental and made many trial approaches and dummy runs over the Kununurra Strip. Details were taken over 20 years weather records of the vicinity during the March period. Before his departure, Mr Graham stated that although he would like to see the strip and road approaches to the dam site sealed before March, he was quite satisfied with the general picture and thought there was little doubt that we would have the pleasure of seeing the Queen at Kununurra. Two plane loads of Wyndham residents also travelled by DC-3 of the MMA. Many residents on the surrounding stations travelled long distances to Kununurra, some coming as far away as Halls Creek. At 10.35 a.m. on March 17th, the aircraft carrying Her Majesty the Queen and His Royal Highness the Duke of Edinburgh touched down at Kununurra Airstrip. As the royal couple alighted, they were received by the Premier and Mrs David Brand.
colourfully dressed natives who came from outlying stations led the cheering as the couple walked from the airstrip. Elaborate precautions were taken to protect the Queen from the century heat and high humidity. She and the Duke travelled in an air-conditioned car and a special unit cooled the Royal Aircraft as it stood on the Kununurra airstrip. When a 90-tonne radial gate was raised, they watched water cascade from the 20 million gallon ore diversion dam, now half full. But the Duke seemed more interested in two crocodiles below the dam spillway. While the Duke questioned engineers on technical aspects of the project, the Queen took an interest in the women of Kununurra, how they lived and coped with tropical conditions. The Queen presented an extremely cool picture, dressed in pastel green with matching hat and white accessories, and appeared unaffected by the hot, humid conditions. The Duke, in deference to the heat, wore shirt sleeves and slacks. After inspecting the diversion dam, the Royal Party proceeded via the farm area to the Ord Hostel where Mr R. A. Hamilton, the resident engineer of the Public Works Department, delivered an address of welcome. Nearly a thousand people heard the Queen respond. <laughs> 